What's up, friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. It's happening. It's happening. I'm finally going to show you guys what I picked up on my trip to Paris. This is going to be my little collective luxury haul. I have bags, I have shoes, I have scarves, some accessories, some clothing. I've got a really good mix here. I think this is going to be really fun. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Sophia. I'm a complete luxury addict and I upload new videos every single week focusing on luxury, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. I recently went on a trip to Paris. I did some shopping there. I also did a couple of vlogs there, guys. So definitely check those out. I'm gonna link them down below. I did one where I kind of took you shopping in Les Marais and also to fancy tea time at the Hotel Crillon. I did another one where I took you guys to the Hermes flagship store. I'm gonna show you today what I picked up from Hermes. And then I also did another vlog showing you guys the best luxury vintage shops to shop at in Paris. Probably one of the best videos that I've ever done. And I'm also gonna show you guys what I picked up at the luxury vintage shops. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And without further ado, guys, let me show you what I got. Ooh, I'm a little nervous. I don't even know why. Okay, party people, let's start off with the biggest thing that I got in Paris. This is the most exciting item and it is from Dior. I know you guys love Dior, by the way. There's not gonna be any makeup in this haul. I'm sorry, this is gonna be like a fashion and accessory moment here on this channel. So we're not gonna talk about makeup in this video, although I will link my makeup and if I can find any of these items, I'll list them in the description box down below. I went to the 30 Avenue Montaigne flagship store. What a fun experience, guys. It was an absolutely stunning store. I've seen a lot of like shopping vlogs online but I've never been to it myself. I'm really sorry I didn't vlog it, okay? Because believe it or not, vlogging is really hard. It's really hard work. A lot of times security guards, they like come up to you, they tell you to stop filming. People stare at you, you know, you're talking to yourself, you're filming every little thing that you do. It can kind of be a little bit stressful, I'm not gonna lie. So I really just wanted to like enjoy this little trip to the flagship store to like have in my memories. And by the way, I do wanna thank one of my subscribers, you know who you are, who introduced me to her sales associate at this store. It was just so nice to work with a super sweet sales associate that was like very patient, helping me with everything. Dior has some of the best customer service ever, unlike Chanel. Dior has the best customer service and probably Fendi. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're shopping for luxury goods. So I'm just gonna show you what I got and then we'll talk a little bit about why I decided to pick up this bag. It is a bag. Here's the dust bag. I didn't keep any of my boxes, guys. I don't use the boxes and it's really hard to get them home in your suitcase. So we just have the dust bag here, all right? So it's a bag. Ah, I'm so excited to show this to you guys. I've been dying. I really wanted to post all of my vlogs before I did this so that you guys had a little bit more like context as to where I have been. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this extraordinary bag? Whatever, I'm just gonna show it to you. Dun, da, da, da. I present to you a mini Lady Dior in a beautiful kind of like ombre blue jean lizard leather. And then also obviously right here, guys, I have a little Dior Mitza scarf that I picked out. They put it on for me. I didn't wanna take it off for this unbagging for this bag reveal because I just think it looks so beautiful, but I will turn the bag around here so that you guys can see her in all her glory. Isn't she beautiful? And this comes like most of the Lady Dior bags with the champagne hardware and it has the little jewelry right there. And actually, let me show you guys. It also comes with a chain strap. So this is what the strap looks like. You just hook it on. This is a mini Lady Dior. So actually, let me get my other Lady Dior so you can see the size comparison. Okay, so here's the small Lady Dior. This is probably the most popular size. And then this is what the mini looks like. So if I kind of stand up, you can see the mini is definitely, I think it works a little bit more as like a crossbody. It's a little bit more petite and ladylike. It's a little bit I guess dressier, you could say. It's just very cute. It's a mini bag, but it still fits all of my essentials. This one I like more as kind of a top handle. The small size comes with the thicker guitar strap, and then the mini ones come with those little chain straps. And so why did I pick up 
this bag. This actually was not the original bag that I was going to get. If you guys missed it, maybe about a year ago, Dior released the Lady D Joy. Now this is basically like an East West style of Dior bag and it's really, really grown on me. However, the problem that I have with this bag is that it comes in three sizes and the middle size, which I think is the best size and I've tried it on a bunch of times at the boutique, it is the newer size and they really don't make it in many leathers and colors like it's kind of hard to find something a bit different and I just haven't found the right color for that bag so I was telling her I'm really interested in either that or something that's like a little bit more unique that I can pick up in Paris that maybe I can't get in the United States or that is like a much better deal to get in Europe because if you haven't shopped for luxury goods over in Paris or in Europe, they're a lot cheaper for most brands. You save a lot of money buying it over there, just baseline, and then you also get the tax free. There's no tax that's charged. So I save a lot of money by buying things when I am abroad. Now she showed me the different bags that were available. And similarly, there really wasn't much in the Lady D Joy that I was interested in. And so from there, I started going to bags that had like interesting embellishments and different types of leathers. If you don't know, I am very fond of exotics. I can't always afford exotics. So if I'm gonna go for an exotic, it usually is gonna be pre-loved or I'm gonna get it like abroad if I can get a better deal. So some of the bags that I was taking a look at, hopefully I can find some images for you guys. They have a really beautiful like pearl encrusted, pearl embellished style that they're doing this season. They have like a black one with pearls and they also have a really beautiful white one with pearls. Now the white one only came in the mini Lady Dior and that was the one that was kind of like my second choice. But the more I thought about it, the more I just kind of gravitated towards this color because I've always been really fond of the blue jean color from Hermes. I feel like it is the best wearable neutral, just like a pair of blue jeans. It literally goes with everything. I've kind of dressed it up here with the beautiful little Mitsa scarf. So it looks very precious. It looks a little bit more like ladylike, but you could totally change up the strap on this, maybe take off the scarf, something like that. And you can make this look a little bit more edgy, more casual, wear it with like, you know, some jeans and a t-shirt, kind of like what I'm wearing today. This color is very much a chameleon. I'm also very, very fond of lizard leather. I think it is probably my favorite leather because I love the fact that you get a beautiful shine just like you would with a patent leather bag, but it wears way better than like treated calf skin or patent leather. I love patent leather, don't get me wrong, but here you don't get the fingerprints, you don't get the potential dye transfer. Sometimes, you know, it, it will kind of soften up over time and the color might deepen, but that's fine. Like it's leather, it's gonna get a patina. And this is like, I like to say, this is like dragon skin. Like it is indestructible. It's so hard wearing. I love the structure and I love the natural pattern of the lizard. Like I just think that this color is so, so beautiful. And I thought it was a very exceptional bag, something that I probably wouldn't get here in the United States. And I haven't seen this bag at my local boutique. Whereas I know, in fact, they actually did have the pearly white one at the Boston boutique here where I normally shop. So that's kind of why I decided to go with this one. I really just wanted like a different variation of the Lady Dior because I love the style so much. It's so classic, it's not going anywhere. And to me, this one was just the most me, the most exceptional. I wanted something that was gonna be in a color, but that I could pick up on the day to day because if I'm gonna be paying that much money for a bag, I wanna get good wear out of. But yeah, guys, I'll show you a little clip here of some of the other bags that I was looking at. There was another lizard one that was like a beautiful light baby pink. That one was cute, but it kind of read a little bit more like spring summer to me. There was a beautiful white lizard, but I already have a white lizard bag. There was a really beautiful kind of olive green water snake one. I'll try and see if I can get the images. I don't know, I, I was having so much fun, guys. I didn't take like a ton of photos or video or anything of this experience, but it was just so, so fun. So hopefully you guys like what I picked up. I think this is so, so cute. And I think maybe for Christmas, if it's within my budget, I would love to maybe look on the pre-love market and see if I can find a good strap that matches her. Now I did get just one more 
favorite little thing from Dior and to no one's surprise, it is another Mitsa scarf. I love these little scarves, whether it be from like Dior, Fendi, Louis Vuitton, even Amazon. I find so many little uses for them. My favorite way to use these is to put them on my bags, just like you saw with my Lady Dior totes. It's just a really great way to kind of change up the look of your bag. You get a little bit more use out of it. Maybe you can kind of change the way that the bag looks season to season, depending on the accessories. I also really like to wear them as like little belts with like high-waisted trousers and jeans. I really like to use them to kind of dress up an otherwise simple outfit. And if you're not familiar with the line of Mitsa scarves that they have at Dior, they have some pretty cool ones. Like they've got some little floral ones, just like this one. They have some other collectible ones. They have Zodiac signs. And then they also have the initial ones, just like the one that I got right here. So obviously I got the one that has the S initial for Sophia. But what they do is that they will take a French word that starts with that letter and they will design the whole motif and pattern of the scarf around that word. And in this case, the word that they pick for the S scarf is se, which means sister in French. So it does say se right here on the scarf. And if you look closely, you can see that there's all these little animals on the scarves that come in twos, just like a pair of sisters. So we've got like two little monkeys right here. There's like two little jaguars right there. There are two little eggs in a nest. Like how precious is that? There are butterflies right there. There are some parrots. And then most importantly, there are three little girls all in a ring right at the bottom there. And that just like really touched my heart, friends, because if you don't know a lot about me, I have a younger sister. We're very close. We're only, we're like just barely two years apart. We did everything together growing up. And we also have an older cousin who's like three years older than me. So it was always like us three little girls growing up. They're my sisters. And so I don't know, like ever since I saw the design for this scarf, I've always really wanted it. It's really beautiful, but it also kind of just, I don't know, it reminds me of my family. So for me, it means something. I just think it's the cutest little thing. So every time I wear these types of things, I think about where I got it from, what it means to me, or maybe even the beautiful collection that it was a part of. So this is the other little thing that I picked up from 30 Avenue Montan. But that's not all friends, because I did get one more bag on this trip to Paris. This one is from Ferragamo. And you know what, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably have already seen this already because I did take this bag to Vermont with me. It is the perfect fall bag. The color is just perfect. And I was so torn on what color to get because this actually was not the color that I went in for, friends. I'll tell you a little bit more about that after I unbox it. But yeah, a lot of you guys saw this on Instagram and you told me that you love my new bag. So let me show it to you. This is the dust bag. Any guesses as to what it is? I picked up this beautiful little caramel cutie. This is the iconic top handle from Ferragamo. I just love their bags. I always have, but Ferragamo is kind of making a little bit of a comeback lately. They do have a new creative director, so I've kind of been eyeing their designs maybe a little bit more than I used to. I also think that my style is just kind of evolving. I like these very like classic ladylike bags, but also I just love this sort of Italian flair that Ferragamo has as well. Now this bag, it comes in so many different colors because it is their sort of iconic bag that they've been creating for years. It comes with the, I think this is called the Gancini clasp. It opens up like this. It's a little bit hard to do with one hand, but it pops open like this. And then it is an accordion style bag. You can fit a pretty good amount in this bag, but I like the fact that it's not so big that you can't wear it cross body. But no doubt, friends, my favorite way to wear this bag is just top handle. I'm a top handle girl, hence the Lady Dior and this bag. I really like to carry my bags just like this. When I first went into the store, I was thinking I was gonna get this deep chocolate brown color. There's another brown that they sell, which is very beautiful. But when I saw it, I was kind of like, hmm. It doesn't like pop. It didn't look as rich and luxe as it did on the website. So I started taking a look at the other colors and I was very torn between getting this one and the black. But at the end of the day, I decided to get this one because I think that these colors, they just, they just go really well with my coloring. I love browns. I love warm tones. You guys know that. And I already have 
some black bags, most notably the Lady Dior that I just showed you guys. And so I wanna enjoy my Lady Dior and I wanted to get something a little bit different. I've been wanting to get a brown bag that's kind of more of like this richer caramel color. And I just think that the color along with the sheen of the coated leather, it's very scratch resistant by the way, yet still supple, goes so well with the yellow gold hardware. I don't know, it just looks so luxe. It's such an elegant bag. My mom saw this when we went to Vermont and she was like, oh my gosh, I want that bag. <laughs> so this is what I picked up from Ferragamo. This is the second bag that I got. I'm so grateful that I was able to save up to get these treasures. And actually guys, they do also have kind of like an east-west version of this bag as well. I was also trying those on because I saw some girl in the street with that one and I was like, I actually kind of like the look of that one. So I was kind of debating getting that one as well. If you like cross body bags, I would say go with that more like East West style, but I'm a top handle girl. So at the end of the day, I decided to go for the classic. What next, what next? Because we do have some more things to unbox. I think I'm gonna save my Hermes goodies until the end of this haul. And in the meantime, I wanna show you guys what I picked up at the luxury vintage shops. I did a lot of research to figure out what would be the best shops to visit. And so these boutiques, they're like resellers of vintage items like vintage Chanel, vintage Dior, Fendi, Louis Vuitton. So many amazing treasures, guys. Definitely check out that vlog that I did. Even if you're not going to Paris, it's so fun to watch because these places are family owned and they've been running this business for years, collecting these items from different collections from 10 years ago, 20 years ago. And it's so cool to see the curation of all those things in one boutique. So one of the boutiques that I went to is called Ejare. They are rebranding to old fashion club. So I'll link them down below. I picked up a vintage Chanel piece from them. I thought they had a fantastic collection of clothing, jewelry, legit everything guys like what a treat i was like a kid in a candy store so this is what i picked up from asia day can you guys guess what it is can you guess what it is from the sound it comes still with the box this is from the 90s and i've been wanting one of these for quite some time and it was fun to actually have several to try on it was so so fun i picked up this vintage chanel chain belt and once again this is from the 90s i believe this is back when they did like the 24 karat gold plating this is just such a cool classic piece this one that i have here it's like a chunky weighty heavy metal chain you have the classic chanel medallions there on the end and then you also have the little medallions throughout so i'll kind of awkwardly stand up and show you guys what this would look like so you would take the little clip and then you could clip it on it really depends on like what pants you're wearing but just for show this is kind of like what we would do you know you can do a little little like belly dance and stuff with this i thought this was so cool you can wear it around your waist with like a little black dress you could put it with some jeans and kind of you know mix like super fancy with super dressed down i like to do that with the few Chanel pieces that I have. So that's what I picked up at Asia Day. Now I'm gonna show you two clothing pieces that I picked up at one of the other boutiques. So in that same vlog, you guys saw me go to another store called Opulence Luxury and Vintage. And their biggest location has this amazing basement full of designer clothes, vintage clothes. And actually they were pretty well priced, like compared to what I've seen on the internet and in the US and even in other stores in Paris. So I tried on a bunch of things in that store and I had such a fun experience. So I know a lot of you guys were asking me like, what did I get, what did I get? So these are the two pieces that I got. I decided to go more for like, fun, interesting, different, colorful, as opposed to just getting like another black blazer <laughs> like I always do. So the first thing that I got is this gorgeous Mew Glare blouse. And it is in the most sumptuous, like the most amazing silk I've ever felt in my life. And it comes with a little bow here, so you can kind of do it up like this. It's very like 80s, but I love everything about it. And you can kind of like cinch it up just like this, wear it with a pair of jeans, wear it with some trousers, wear it with like a little blazer on top, like a little black blazer. So you get kind of like that retro look. So I decided to get this. I just thought the quality was impeccable. And I thought that the print was so unique and cool and 
like I said, retro, but still easy to kind of pair with what I have today, if that makes sense. And then the second piece here that I have is a Celine dress. And this is old Celine. This is not new Celine. And I never thought I would pick this up. But when I tried it on, because the sales associate recommended it to me, I was like, this is so cool. And actually all the little buttons are hiding. It comes with all these cool little buttons. It has this sort of short, what is this? Like a Mandarin collar, a little short collar. You could see it says Celine Paris right there. It is kind of like a mini dress. I had it tailored so I could get it a little bit more tapered around the waist. And what's cool about this is not only can you wear it as a mini dress, but you can also wear it as like a jacket over a pair of jeans and a t-shirt or something like that. And this can be your statement piece, like a little, you know, light jacket. It's kind of like, I don't know, ugly chic, but these types of colors usually suit me quite well. Oh my goodness, with the, with the Ferragamo bag, I'm gonna have to style this up properly and post some looks on Instagram because I feel like just seeing it here on the hanger doesn't really do it justice, but it is such, a cool dress. It's a little circus ringleader, not gonna lie. It's a little bit like chic French Celine circus ringleader, but I just thought it was so different. It's like, if I'm gonna be here and find, you know, designer pieces and be on like this treasure hunt, I wanna get something that's unique where people are like, whoa, what is that? Where did you get that? Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys what I got at Hermes. If you guys miss it, I did a whole shopping vlog, surprise, surprise, another vlog of my experience at the Hermes flagship store. I talked a little bit in that video about just my time there, what I thought of the service. At the end of the day, I had a fantastic time. I was there for a while and the sales associates were very, very nice and the service was definitely top notch. Not as friendly as Dior, like not as good as Dior and Fendi, but I still thought that it was, it was great. I had a great time. Now you would have seen in that vlog, I was shopping for shoes first. So the first shoes that I picked up are the very classic Paris loafers. I feel like this is a very popular item from Hermes because I mean, who doesn't love a beautiful loafer? And I really just wanted to get something classic. I love loafers, but believe it or not, I don't have like a classic black pair like this. I have a pair of Gucci loafers, but they are white. I like to wear those in the summer and I wanted something that would be great for the fall. So I picked these up. They come in so many different colors. And like I said, this is the black and then it comes with the gold on top, which I'm realizing right now still has the sticker on it. Ooh, let's peel these off together. What's funny is that I did wear these on a work trip. <sighs> there we go. It's even shinier and more beautiful. So I wore these on a work trip recently and my goodness, friends, like they are so comfortable. They are buttery soft and they better be because they're so expensive. They're Hermes. Hermes can be pretty pricey, but I will say everything that I've purchased from them has been extremely good quality. The leather is amazing. And so if I'm going to spend a lot of money, I wanted something that I felt like I could wear with a lot of outfits, even though they did have a lot of, you know, cool colors and that kind of stuff. So this was the first thing that I picked up. And like I said, I've already worn them and I think they might even be more comfortable than the Gucci loafers. Now I did get one other pair of shoes at Hermes and these are kind of like a different style, but similarly, I feel like I can wear them so many places. In fact, I'm leaving for another work trip in just a couple minutes right after I finish filming this and these are gonna go right on my feet. These are a very cool pair of white chunky Oxfords. I forget the name of these. They had a couple of names for these on the website. So I'm gonna be linking everything down below so you guys have the right styles in case, I don't know, you wanna ask your sales associate about them. I just thought these were so unique, yet also still like very Hermes and goes with so many things. Just like the other loafers, the leather is so divine. This is more of like a stiffer leather and it's also smoother. The Paris loafers, they're a little bit more like buttery. They kind of mold to your feet a little bit more. And I just like the chunky nature of these because this is something that I can wear a little bit more into the winter. I can wear these with some thicker socks, maybe some fun pattern socks. And they just kind of stand up a little bit more to like the Boston weather because you get that chunky sole. I also love the little, I think this is called like the Kelly lock. I'm not totally positive, but the little clasp right here, which you can use to just kind of unclasp the shoe. It's just a little design detail. It's very, very Hermes. 
I love these. So these were the other ones that I picked out. They also have a really beautiful boot version of these. I think it's called the Funk Boot. Again, I'll put some footage up here that I have from the vlog. And that one has obviously like comes up high like a boot. I really like those as well. They also come in black, but I already have boots like that. I have a ton of boots. I mean, I live in Boston, so I wanted to get something that was a little bit more unique. So this is what I picked up. If you guys saw my Miami vlog at the beginning of this year, you will know that I went shopping at Hermes in the design district there in Miami, and I picked up a very beautiful Hermes belt. I have been wearing that belt nonstop. I absolutely love it. So when I went to the flagship store in Paris, I really, really wanted to get another belt and I wanted specifically to get one that was black. At first I was looking at like the big H belts because I thought maybe it would be cute to match the belt to the Paris loafers. And I think I eventually will get the H belt, but I also saw this belt and I've never seen anybody with this one. It's a little bit more understated. It's not an H design. I forget the name of it off of the top of my head, but again, I'm gonna put the name of it in the description box. This is what the belt looks like. Now, a lot of the belts, they are dual sided. They're reversible. So you can take the belt buckle off and then you can change up the color of the belt. This is not reversible, but you know what? I was okay with it because most of the time I just wear black. Like I never turn it on the other side to see the brown or anything. So I was like, whatever, it's okay. I came for a black belt, but I just thought this was such a cool, classy, timeless design. I've already worn this a gajillion times. In fact, I'm going to put it on my pants in just a second. I think it's so cool. It has a sort of saddle like design it almost looks like a piece of hardware that you would see on like a horse saddle or bridle it is Hermes after all and that's kind of what they started doing actually let me put this on right now and I'll show you what it looks like okay so this is what it looks like just to give you guys a little bit of a taste believe it or not Sometimes it's like hard to find from these luxury brands something that doesn't have a big logo. Like when I go into Gucci, everything's like Gucci. Even Ferragamo, they've got like the big Gancini logo. It's like so obvious what the brand is. And I really just wanted something that was like a subtle nod to the brand and like their overall aesthetic and like the equestrian motifs but that didn't like scream Hermes. So comment down below and let me know what you think. Woo, are you still with me friends? I know this is quite the haul. The last two things that I have for this haul are two Hermes scarves. I'm really trying to get back into scarves. I used to be very into wearing scarves maybe like a couple years ago when I was in my 20s and then I don't know what happened. Maybe the pandemic, I just like stopped wearing them. So I wanna get back into my scarf collecting and wearing because the Hermes scarves, they are just so exquisite. The designs are so beautiful. The quality is beautiful. And just like the Dior Mitsu scarf that I was talking about a second ago, it is really fun to collect the different designs and kind of match them with different clothes. You kind of can have it as a bit of a souvenir for wherever you go, whatever boutique you visit. The first scarf that I got was one, I think that this is the 60 centimeter, if I'm not mistaken. It is this gorgeous kind of warm toned gold multicolored pattern. I don't even know how to describe it. And it has all of these beautiful equestrian bits or I don't even know what these are. These are little pieces of hardware, I guess, that you would put on a bridle or a saddle, just like we were talking about a second ago. And I got this one, number one, because the other two Hermes scarves that I already had were the larger 90 centimeter ones. And I liked the fact that this one, it was just like a little bit smaller and more manageable if you kind of want to wear it like this under a blazer, which I have done that, wore that on a work trip. And then you can also do one of these little bad boys and have like a little sailor moment. You can kind of roll it up a little bit. So I wanted something that was like a little bit more petite. I also really liked the gold tone. Once again, I think warm tones really suit me. And then hopefully you guys can see this on camera, but you see this really cute little kind of embroidered detail that runs throughout the silk. I just thought that made it a little bit more unique and I'm very fond of that. It's like you have the polka dots there, but they're not in the form of a color. They're in the form of a texture. And I just love different textures and colors and that kind of stuff. So yeah, I've really been loving these scarves as well. And it's just a really easy way, especially when you're traveling to kind of dress up 
an otherwise kind of simple outfit. Now, the other scarf that I got and the last thing that I'm unboxing in this vlog is one of the larger, like traditional 90 centimeter scarves from Hermes. I was looking at a bunch of them. I was trying to find a design that spoke to me. And I said to the lady, to the sales associate, do you have anything with cats on it? And we looked down and we saw a little leopard, their head peeping out where all the scars were kind of folded up. And friends, this is the one that I got. It is quite big. So here, let me step back a second so I can show this to you. It is the cutest thing ever. Oh my gosh, I love this scarf. All right, so we've got all of these little leopards. They're in the jungle. And then it kind of looks like they're just taking over a campsite. There are cats up on the books. There's cats up on the shelf. There's another cat that's reading. Like they're just getting into all of this mischief. And I love how busy it is, how all the little cats are all over the place. It's so whimsical and kind of humorous at the same time. And then I also just really like the colors that are in this. They're so rich and luxe. Once again, these are the kind of tones that really, really suit me and I thought would be perfect for fall. So funny, that one looks like so bored. This one is nice and proud at the very top. And then if you reverse it, you've got kind of just like a different tone. Sorry, it's a little bit wrinkly, but I will put some images of the full scarf here in the split screen. This comes in a couple of different colorways also. So if you go to an Hermes boutique, you might see this pattern, but you might see it in more of like a peachy tone or a, a pinky tone or like, I don't know, a beigey tone. Like they it comes in a couple of different colors I noticed on the website, but definitely this is the one that spoke to me and I just, I love it so, so much. So once again, I've really been enjoying wearing these scarves and the belt and the shoes, like everything that I got from Paris, I have just been absolutely loving. Whoops, I totally forgot to mention the Mew Mew sunglasses that I picked up. I went into the boutique looking for the very popular kind of like wrap around runway glasses. I did try those on, but those made me look like a cyborg. So I decided to get these. I really like them because they have kind of like a big retro type of feel. They're very comfortable on the face. They don't slip off. And I also really like the beautiful olive tone of the lenses. So yeah, I picked these up as well. Whoopsie. And yeah, that's all I have to show you guys. I hope that you liked this rather large haul. I don't normally do hauls this big, but I was saving up for quite some time to be able to shop on my vacation. I hope that you guys are able to check out the vlogs that I made. I hope you enjoy them. And with that, friends, now it is your turn. Sound off in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of the little goodies that I picked up. Have you gotten anything good? Did you bring anything back for maybe a trip that you went on this summer? If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, friends, I hope that you see some beauty in your day and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.